Good day. Are you able to solve this rather challenging and quite difficult puzzle? The numbers in the puzzles are as follows. In the first row, we have 4, 6 and 12. In the second row, we have 8, 5 and 21. And in the final row, we have 3, 7 and a question mark. As usual, we need to know what numbers represent the question mark. So without further ado, let's try to solve this puzzle. If you look at the column 4, 8, 3, 6, 5, 7, 12, 21 and a question mark, it is quite impossible to solve. So we are going to solve in terms of rows, okay? So the answer, it will be in terms of row. So we need to make 4, 6 to be equal to 12, 8, 5 equal to 21, and 3, 7 equal to question mark. So have you managed to solve it? If you can't, this is the solution to this puzzle. So to solve this, you need to think outside the box. And what we're going to do is that we are going to minus 1 in the first column, the numbers in the first column. So 4 becomes the 3. In the second column, we're going to minus by 2. So 6 becomes the 4. And then you multiply them. 3 multiplied by 4, that will give us 12. Similarly, for the second row, 8 becomes 7 because you minus 1. Okay, so the first column you minus 1, second column you minus 2. So 5 minus 2 will give us 3, and then you're going to multiply 7 times 3, that is 21. So 3, 7 question mark, the same trick going to happen, 3 minus 1 is going to give us 2, 7 minus 2 is going to be 5, 2 multiply by 5, and the question mark is equal to 10. I believe most of you will get it right, because you guys are geniuses, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone, and have a good day.